morning or good night wherever you're at it's night where i am it's about i think 10 o'clock um today it's a uh, saturday so i'm gonna work on my bike here i have some parts to install on this um finally got some parts uh, i will show you right now got me some new crg let me get that in focus there some CRG levers. This is the shorty uh, brake. Got the clutch here, the full length one for leverage. I like it, the longer one for clutch. Shorty for brake because I only use two fingers. Uh, I got an OEM stator cover and miscellaneous OEM bolts and stuff in there. I already sorted them out. And I got a stock kickstand OEM length with the sensor and a stock dog bone fairly clean all this was used that's brand new these are brand new so see these cheapo carbon fiber ones I'm gonna get rid of these bar ends as well they're cheapo too look at this shit so tacky RR. <laughs> yeah. And then over here, this is bent from crashing. Previous owner let some one of his friends drive it and crashed it. That's why we got a little scuff marks right here. You can see down here, the stator covers scratched up too. A little focus in here, and then the shorty kickstand, and then we have a rear link in here. I don't know if you can see it. It's a black PSR, so you can't really tell. But it's lowered. It's a lowered link. Reason why I'm changing this because I don't like it being lowered, and it makes squeaking noises, which I don't like. So, yeah, being lowered, it changes the geometry of the riding. It changes the geometry of the riding, so I can't corner very well. So I need it back at a stock height. So I'm going to do that. Let's see, I got miscellaneous bolts for it that were missing on the left side here. I don't know what happened, but... Oh, yeah, and... Uh, this is loose, so I ordered a new bolt and washer in there. They're, this is missing the washer, so I'm changing that out. I bought one of these rubber one, rubber uh, things just for the hell of it. So I'm start off with installing these levers. Then I'm gonna get to the lowering link. It's gonna be a little sketchy because I'm by myself, so I'm gonna jack up the front and rear. And you can't put any weight in the middle there when you uh, try to install the bar. So I'm going to have to pull that lower fairing off. And then I'm going to grab a jack over there and put some towels underneath and slowly jack it off and take the weight off. So then I can install the stock one back. So, Yep, that is what I'm going to do. So let's get to it. Thing. so before I even start I just saw there's like a shit ton of grime on here it's not that bad though but let me see if this get this focus here see there's a shit ton of dirt in there grime road grime so this is a used piece this is a used piece too this was really clean compared to all the ones I found online so the bushings seem to be good so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take some brake clean Spray this down, clean it in here, wipe it out, make sure this is all clean here before I put it on. And the only thing I really see that's bad about this kickstand is there's just a like some uh, road rash or some kind of mark right here. Let's see, pull that in right there. See, it's a little scuffed up right here and a little bit right here. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to 
get some black paint somewhere I believe I have some black paint uh, I think it's in the back there I think maybe that rust-oleum is black I believe I'm gonna once I clean I'm gonna spray this with a coat let it dry while I do the handlebars and stuff and then it should be good and dry once I get to putting this on okay let's spray it down there's no more in here I'm gonna go grab a new bottle see I have a whole stash of brick clean here all right second try Get the spring, get up in there, under here. Alright, now I'll flip it over. Do the same on the other side. Alright, I'm going to grab this towel and start wiping it down. I'll show you afterwards. Alright, look, I got it all cleaned up now. Just wiped it down. Okay. Now I'm going to hang this up and then I'm going to give it a couple of light coats of black. So it looks brand new again. So you can't even tell that it'll use. Alright. Alright. Here it is. I'm gonna give it a few light coats of Rust-Oleum acrylic lacquer. So just a few light coats. Check it up. Coverage there. I don't want to overdo it. Just a few sprays just to evenly coat everything. Should be good. All right, that looks good to me. What do you guys think? Well, I even got the bottom. <laughs> That's fine. Looks good, huh? Sweet. It's like brand new again. Alright, first off, let me tell you that I've never done this before. My old bike had it already uh, installed. So this is the first time I'm installing levers on a bike. I'm pretty sure it's pretty intuitive. So I'm going to go over with this. And I'm going to learn while you guys learn as well. Let's figure it out. Alright, let's figure this out. Looks like... Most likely this will have to come out, and the cable does, obviously. I've done this before. Um, in a previous video, you saw me take this out and loop the cable. So I think I'll take this out and then take this uh, screw out and see what happens. All right, so. All right, so I turned this wheel all the way in. And you see there's a little groove here. I'm gonna get this to focus. Well, there's a groove here that will let the cable come out. And you just pull the cable out from the handle itself. So then now I'm gonna get this screw out and Looks like it'll just come right off. Cool. Cool. Alright, cool. That was hella easy. So, I just took off this at the top here. And there's a little nut on the bottom here too, as well. That you put in there. Make sure you don't lose that. Mine dropped out. Good thing I found it. 
Okay, so then that just goes right through there and holds it, and then this comes straight out. So it's gonna be really easy to install. So I'm gonna put a. This was. This actually took a little effort to uh, get out. So um, I'm gonna put a little anti-seize here, so it'll it'll come out a little easier in the future. Uh, clean this up right here, so there's no dirt and grime to hold it back from the actuation when we clutch in. So I'm gonna use a little cleaner on that, wipe it down. Not so bad. So uh, that's what it looks like. Cool. So then let me go grab the new one. Yeah, boy. Look at this. Looks beautiful. Uh, why I went with CRG? Um, because there was a guy on Facebook selling the carbon fiber ones for a hundred bucks, which I I didn't know if that was a good deal or not back then. But then he decided to. Uh, they were brand new. They're like a hundred to a hundred twenty dollars each, brand new, and he was selling them for a hundred or something or under that, eighty bucks maybe. And uh, the next day, I saw that he kept them. And decided to put it on his bike so I was a little salty about that so uh, I couldn't afford the carbon fiber ones they look really good uh, I'll put a picture up right here so I kind of go with those because they're a little pricey so I went with these I found on eBay uh, these are usually a hundred bucks each as well but I got them for eighty dollars at a discount so got these instead a little anti-seize treatment i love to anti-seize everything makes my life a lot easier for the future so i'm just gonna get a little bit on there it's copper about it I'll just cut this whole thing right here as well should be fine sure that that bolt fits through put some more anti-seize on there you can see and now we're just gonna go pop right in there same as removing it just reversal and then uh, this little nut is a 10 so I'm gonna put a little wrench down there uh, so I can get it under there as well and it looks like it threads down into here without the nut as well and then the nut goes on afterwards so that's why I found out that I, I test fitted it to put it in there and it threaded in right here so make sure you do that all right it is on what do you guys think about that looks so much better huh oh what's up that Meh. but now uh, I set that back I'll, re I'll reset it once the bike's on so I can get my clutch pull the way I really want it. I set it at the one position. There's six different settings on here that you can change to. There's different positions here. Sorry for the little blurriness. This is the farthest out. And I'll set it down to right here and then I'll adjust accordingly. All right, so let's get to the next side. Right side, I turned the steering wheel uh, just a little bit just so I can clear this. And then it looks, I had, I went for this and it took a little strength. So I just kind of looked at it. It has the same 10 millimeter right here. Broke that nut out so far. So pretty sure it, that's just to, to keep it in the safety kind of deal. So, this should be able to come out now. So, oh yeah, easy peasy. Look at that. Super easy. And there comes the last side. Had a longer bolt on this side. Clean that up. Yeah, I'll clean this up as well. It's all dirty. It's 
probably uh, that's the cylinder itself that you push in on it. So I just read some instructions. So uh, one important note on the brake lever, uh, they will include a dowel pin that goes right into here. And you see the little master cylinder uh, prong right there, right in the middle, a little whitish. It'll seat in between there and the dowel pin. So you gotta line that up as you put in there. So here is the dowel pin. You see there's a hole in there. There's just one hole. So it's gonna go right in this hole right here. Line it up and line that up. Make sure you do that. Otherwise it won't work right. If it's not in all the way into the hole in the dowel pin, it's installed wrong and it might possibly cause it not to work right. So make sure you do this step properly before you button it all up. So there's a word of caution. There we have it. Oh yeah, and then uh, one more cool thing I forgot to mention is uh, if you do ever happen to crash, these right here, you can see there's a little line. You, these actually grind down. Let me see, let me focus here. These actually grind down and you can remove these and buy new inserts and then just put them back in and it'll be as brand new. So that's pretty cool about these. So I have to mess around with this and adjust it while I ride to see how far I want this, the pitch of this. So there you go, guys. Got my. levers installed how you guys like it a lot better huh I think they're a lot better all right that was the install of my levers the CRG all right guys that was the end of uh, the lever install uh, what do you guys think about it L let me know in the comments below and uh, so that's going to be the end of this video. So the next video I am going to be installing the link and the original kickstand. So like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you in the next video.